Greetings, my hatchlings, and welcome back to Samus Plays in Metroid Prime. So yeah, last episode we just got the gravity suit, ice beam, and a whole bunch of cool stuff. Now we are going to go back to this big area, if you remember. Um, this is where the Crash for Gate site was, which is basically the first level we, we were in in Metroid Prime. So yeah, we're going to explore the abandoned ship, the Crash ship, which is sort of like taking a trip down memory lane because, wow, it's also a case of deja vu because we've already been here and we basically blew it up. So yeah. Sorry, a little itchy. I wonder what Samus does when she has an itch. She can't scratch. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, yeah, um. Eek. Oops. Oops. Eek. Okay, those guys are assholes. All right, now that they're dead, we can go ahead into the water right here. Take a dive. Whoops. I want to kill him, but we don't need to. Anyway, come up and jump up here and get this missile tank. Um, that's when we tried getting before, but we didn't have the gravity suit yet, so now you can get it freely. See, now we're gonna make our way up here. Oh, I hate these guys. Oh, they just pull you in and then they hurt you and they make your mask all fuzzy. All right, cool. Now we can finally go to the other side. I know you guys have been like dying to know what's over here. You can finally explore it now. And this basically, yeah, this is basically the crashed space pirate frigate that um, just happened to crash right near our ship. So yeah. You get a real good case of deja vu when you're in here. And I love the music here. It's so soothing and so pretty. Oh yeah, by the way, there's turrets up there. They are extremely powerful. Please shoot the door first and then... Actually, freeze one first and then kill the other one. Oh shit, okay. So do that and go ahead and just blast them with the super missile. Please freeze them because they will... Yeah. They'll let you have it. Alright, so go ahead. We're gonna have to basically power everything up in the space frigate that crashed because, you know, everything's broken. There's no electricity here. So use your wave beam to power the doors and everything. Oh yeah, these are crabs. Um, yeah, crabs. Go ahead and scan them. And this is, I think, basically where we killed the queen parasite, didn't we? So yeah, we're just gonna- yeah, I think it was. And there's basically new guys down here. These are aqua pirates. Scan them. And this is basically where you can see Samus's face and her visor the best. Oh, you sneaky bastard, you. Look at my missiles. They're like torpedoes. <laughs> they don't home very well underwater. Which is weird. I mean, these guys are tougher. Yeah, so you can basically see Samus's face the best with these. As you can see. Um, you can see her pretty blue eyes. And her pretty face. Okay, so now what we're gonna do... We're gonna power all these, um, circuits. There's a couple of them in here. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but you know, it's easy. There's one right there. And the last, or second to last. Now we're gonna come up here to this door. There should be one more. Here. And you power the door so you can go through it. As you can see, this area, I didn't play Super Metroid before this game, but this area reminds me a lot of the, um, the, uh, and there's also a save station there too, if you wanna save. Um, this area reminds me a lot of that, um, Meridia and the, um, the ghost ship where Phantom was. The pretty eerie music, like, I remember when I first came here, I was actually like, this can't be right, this music's too pretty, <laughs> this can't be a Metroid, something bad's gonna happen, like, I had PTSD. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go in here, and get this energy tank. Awesome, we need as much energy as possible now that we're going to phase on mines. So don't forget to, uh, power this. And the vines are back. The tentacles, I should say. You can go ahead and shoot this. Shoot. 
So yeah, all we're doing basically is just platforming our way up. And this always scared me. There's like a random dead space pirate that just fell out of the ceiling. That was really gross. The last one's right there. And we power this door. So yeah, basically, I know, it's like, where's Fantoon? It feels like he should be here. I know. That would be a little bit too fanservice-y, I feel. So yeah, basically, in every room, you're gonna have to power something. And first things first, destroy these turrets. Oh, I got it? Oh, awesome. Awesome. Don't forget this one. Awesome. Oh yeah, there's two aqua drones in there. You're safe as long as you don't go in there. Don't go in the water, they can't hurt you. Um, just shoot them from up here, pretty much. With a super missile. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot them from here. But once they've, you, they've detected you, they don't move. It's weird, you have to like... You pretty much have to go in the water. <laughs> Alright, cool. Now I'm gonna- there's an- oh, it spotted us, never mind. Alright, okay, so, once they spot you, you pretty much have to go in the water. Ugh, don't forget to scan those. And before you pr continue, there is a there is a missile tank in here. It's in- Oh, it's, it, it's in this one. Yes. Sometimes I have to listen and hear which one is it in again? Oh yeah. And then I know. Or you can just see right through with your um thermal visor. Here's another electric circuit. Oh yeah. We're basically going through this area in reverse than the original sp space frigate, space pirate frigate. Oh my god, I hate these dudes. Any tentacle thing I hate in Metroid. That's going on the most annoying an uh, enemy list. Let me out. And there's another- I'm just gonna use Ice Beam in these guys, cause I'm running out of missiles. Alright, cool. Yeah, it's way easier just to use your Ice Beam. Uh, Alright, cool. Those are gone. And... We're gonna power up this room as well. There's like four in here, I think. Three. Oh, three. Okay, cool. Yeah. This really puts your um wave beam to use. You think that this stuff would have burned up in the atmosphere when it crashed here though, but I don't know, game physics and all. Eek. And there's no space pirate that just drifted up. Which we don't care about because we hate them. Alright, and this room, there's an energy tank, which is pretty easy to get. All you have to do is just time your bombs. Get up, up there, never mind. There we go. So this is where it is. So just basically you have to just time your bombs. So just one. Don't time them too late like I did. Two. Three. There you go. Energy tank acquired. So yeah, this is a pretty area. I really like this this um, music too. It's really beautiful, very serene. If you guys want to relax, just play it on repeat. The metal version is really kick ass too. I love it. And now, if you notice, we're out of that area, that crash frigate, and now we are back in Talon World with a rude awakening from these guys. I hate them. They're disgusting. If you guys ever get close to them, they are so ugly. Like, they gross me out to look at. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make our way up here. We're gonna go ahead and clear this boost ball contraption. Move these little- we're gonna lock this little gate. You can go up here if you want. Um, we're not supposed to, but there is a missile tank you guys can get. I'll show you how to get it without the extra visor because I'm so badass. Alright, come here. Come here! Alright, cool. Okay, cool. So what you do, you climb these platforms, 
And if you guys look up here, you'll see the rainfall right there. There's a platform right there, but it's invisible. You can't see it. So what you're gonna do is so you're gonna jump, and you're gonna use this platform to get to that door. So yeah, like this, like a boss, and there's a missile tank up here. And voila. Um, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You need the x-ray visor, which we're getting next pretty soon. Um, if you'd rather just wait till for that, then you guys can do that. It's really easy, it doesn't matter. I prefer to get it now because we're about to go into phase on mines and that place is literally the scariest, hardest level in the game, so I'd rather have as much missile tanks as possible. And now we're gonna go down here. And these guys are So yeah, intense radiation detected. That means that we are near Phazon, which is this stuff. The Phazon they've been talking about. And it hurts really bad. Do not go in it. You probably will die if you step in it in hyper mode, if you stay in there for like a minute. So it's pretty bad. You can't survive that stuff yet. So try to avoid Phazon as much as possible, even though it's there is a ton of it in Phazon mines. I mean, it's everywhere. That's why they call it Phazon mines. <laughs> because they're mining Phazon, I guess, literally. But yeah. So yeah, we have finally made it into the Phazon Mines. And this music's really creepy. But I love it. And here we are. Phazon Mines. Sam's toughest challenge yet in the game. So yeah, um, basically when I first got to this level, I was so scared when I was a kid that I just really wanted to just turn around and leave. <laughs> but I was just like hanging out in the lobby just playing around because I was too scared. And everything is basically stronger in this area. Everything is. Because everything's been jacked up on Phazon. This is literally their main base of operations that the Chozos have been talking about. So you can understand why they're really jacking everything up. So before I end this episode, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some cool stuff you can get up here. Um, this is where most of the space parts are going to be. So yeah, go ahead and kill these guys. Actually, I'm gonna use my ice beam on you guys, because you're not worth my time. So yeah, we're gonna go up here. I'm ready to go ahead and get a missile tank. Careful this dude. He's literally waiting for you. <laughs> he just comes crashing down on top of you. So yeah, this is like their little operation thingy, so what you're gonna do, of course you're gonna activate this thing first, and it basically powers their computer so you can scan it. It powers the crane, um, which is a thingy right here. Wait, I want this. It powers this thing, you can scan it, and it's basically their crane. And it makes the missile tank hidden, accessible now. So we're gonna go ahead and roll up there. Using the spider ball contraption. Beep, beep, beep. And so we can obtain the missile tank. Perfection. Yes. Awesome. So there's just one more missile you need. And then we're gonna go up here. And there's a safe station here. Oh, whoops. And we're gonna go ahead and save our progress because we just got to phase on mines. And I'm gonna go ahead and end my mission here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Samus Plays through Phase on Mines pretty much through the crash for day. But yeah, we are now in phase on mines, which is a pretty much the scariest part of the game, and I'm really excited to play for you guys. So um yeah, thank you again. Let me know what you think about this stuff in the comments, and I will see you next mission.